Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Juana Sanchez. I'm the Spanish um, representative of Celtic Next in uh, CDTI. That, uh, for all of you who don't know us, uh, we are um, the main uh, R&D funding agency um, in Spain. We we are a public by business entity more than 45 years, we depend from the Ministry of Science and Innovation. And the main purpose of our center is to improve the competitiveness of the Spanish companies. We have our premises in Madrid uh, with around 350 employers, but also we have uh, around 10 international offices Okay, that coordinates uh, more than 50 countries. We also, uh, this is also important, we also have uh, some uh, cooperations agreements with some uh, Spanish regional agencies. So if you are a Spanish um, company and you want or you think it could be useful for you to co to be co-funded by us and, and, and another regional agency, uh, please take into account that this is also possible. Oh, well, the main thing uh, that you have to take into account if you want to be funded by, by CDTI is that it's absolutely mandatory that you develop technology. That means that you have to show that you know the state of the art of the technologies you are going to work on, and you have to show to demonstrate that you are going to give uh, one step further to the state of the art. Um, our approximation is uh, bottom up, so uh, all kind of proposals are, and technologies are welcome in our applications, in our funding applications. And the way we evaluate our proposals are made in, in two steps that are done in parallel. From one point of view, um, the technology, and from another point of view, from the from financially. So we, uh, our colleagues from the evaluation and financial directions, um, they check from one side the research, development, and innovation um, quality of the proposals. That uh, some uh, other um, aspects are included. Uh, for example, the gender equality, the capacity of the consortium, the commercial and exploitation plan, or the impact uh, from the socio-economic or environment, uh, environmental point of view. But also from the financial point of view, uh, our colleagues uh, from the financial um, economical direction from CDTI are going to check uh, the state uh, of the company from the economical uh, point of view, and of course the risk analysis of each company involved in selective proposals. This is uh, the funding outlook that we offer for Celtic uh, Next uh, proposals. Um, we have an open call that is uh, called uh, Proyectos de Cooperación Tecnológica Internacional. This is uh, when a Spanish company is going to apply, it has to look for the Eureka request. And the conditions we offer in this, uh, in this uh, funding line, um, first you have to take into account that the national consortium must be led by a company. So it's a company who, as is one company who is going to make the national request, the international request, in this case, the Eureka request. Um, if you are a research center or a university, uh, and you want to participate in a Celtic Net proposal, this is possible. You can also participate as a partner, but at the, at the national request, uh, take um, into consideration that you you can participate self-contracted by a company. This is this is very important to to know. The duration of the projects uh, can vary between uh, one and three years. And also, um, as I said, the main thing to be funded by us is that uh, the company developed technology 
So there are some activities that are not eligible for funding, for example, exploitation and dissemination activities. Which are the conditions we offer for this kind of projects? Uh, we offer credits uh, uh, of 75% of the budget. In some uh, cases, many of the cases, uh, the credit can go up to 85% for the regions that are co-funded uh, with technological funds. And the third part uh, of the credit until 75%, the third part, it's not uh, reimbursable. This means that it's it's like a grant. It's a money that you don't have to give back to to CDTI. The amortization that we offer is a long term one uh, between ten and fifteen years. The funding is multi annual uh, between one and three years, and we also and this uh, this is also really really important and interesting for you. We also um, give to the companies that really have tax report that uh, can uh, can have a really interesting funding conditions, uh, financial condition for you. We also offer an advance payment, uh, a thirty five percent of the of the um, of the aid when the contract is signed. With a limit of 250,000 uh, euros, um, with uh, without additional guarantees required. If you want uh, to be um, paid with another advance payment in the beginning, take uh, into account that uh, some guarantees can be asked to you. Uh, which are the eligible costs uh, for this uh, funding line? Of course, the human resources, the management costs, maximum um, 8,000 uh, euros, materials, uh, subcontracting, uh, amortization of the equipment, and audit. Of course, uh, the audit costs are also included. And uh, also uh, uh, see that we have uh, an activity of general costs. This is uh, automatically calculated in our tool where uh, the travel costs or the clusters fee are included in this in these uh, general costs. Okay. We you can you can have more information, much more detailed in this uh, link I put in this uh, slide also for you. This is uh, the timeline we are managing for this uh, for this call for this Celtic call. Uh, the call is going uh, to close on um, 10th of November, and after that, when you present your documentation, you, when you apply to Celtic, uh, think that you have 15 days of margin to make um, the first funding request in our application because the funding request in CDTI for Celtic Nest is done in two phases. So the first the first one is done by the leader of the Spanish consortium. Uh, is as I said in, at, the, at the last uh, slide, it's a Eureka request. Um, and this must, must be done, as I said, uh, by the leader of the Spanish consortium. Only the documentation that you have already presented at Celtic um, um, application is requested. Uh, so it's a document that you don't have to you don't have to uh, make again. Uh, it's as a Celtic project proposal, and also we request to you to present one document per company involved in the proposal. Uh, it's called solicitud de asesoramiento. Uh, but don't worry, because uh, uh, when you apply to Celtic Next, uh, you will receive uh, uh, an email from our side explaining to you exactly the procedure and the documentation you have to present. When the labeling meeting is, uh, is uh, done uh, at international level, uh, for those proposals who have uh, obtained uh, the level from Celtic Lex, CDTI will open a national request for each company involved in these proposals. And uh, when they open, when the national request is opened, each company will have 20 days to present the full documentation at the national submission. Okay. 
I have some recommendations uh, for these proposals. I'm not going to repeat what my what Celtic or my colleagues uh, said, but uh, please uh, check in the proposal that you have a, a consortium that is quite balanced at national and uh, and at international level. Uh, check with the PAs again the availability financially of each country that is involved in the proposal. Uh, take into consideration that you have to select a sub consortium leader per country. And uh, also something really, really important at international and national level is about the role of the technological centers and universities in the proposals. Because if a national level and university or, or a technological center is going to participate subcontracted, uh, the role of these entities must be coherent at international level. For example, we don't recommend you that a university uh, lead the international consortiums um, and things like this. Okay, at national re level, uh, it's uh, as I said, very very important that you make emphasis on the R and the activity. You don't have to explain the global project because the evaluators also have uh, the international projects and the whole documentation but um, uh, you have to explain the r and the activities that each company is going to uh, develop in the framework of the project it's also recommended that the company is uh, really involved in the proposals so if you lead the projects or work packages or tax this is also welcome welcome for our evaluation uh, please check that the, that you avoid overlapping with other presented projects in cdti or in other um, agency of spain okay uh, and also there are some uh, in, um, aspects that are also very, very important that you include in the, in the national request, for example, the market, the impact or the gender, especially for the gender um, it's not uh, enough that you say that uh, some women are going to participate in the proposal, but that you have a, a equality plan uh, gender in your company um already um working uh please uh, also check that we have new templates uh, templates for funding requests they are available for you so please use the last versions of these templates and if you are um one consortium that you need to be uh, you, you need to include um spanish uh, partners in your proposal please um, take also into consideration that we offer you the opportunity um, of uh, uh, work with our partner search uh, procedure in, in Spain, because we have a very nice uh, Spanish um, Celtic community that is right, really, really active in these in this activities. You have here my contact data. Of course, you can contact me whenever you want. I try to be uh, quite agile in the, my responses. Uh, please don't hesitate to contact me for anything you may need. And thank you so much.